Hey guys, this is Tolerable Gamer, and I'm gonna be uh, probably starting uh, Binding of Isaac series. Um, I've been playing this game for like such a long time. I mean, I haven't put in like tons of time for how long I've owned the game. I put in like like 50 hours or something like that. But I think I'm pretty good at this point. I've been watching lots of Northern Line. He does a series. He's pretty good, and that's pretty much how I learned a lot about it, about this game, and it's probably helped me improve my gaming ability with this, but um, I thought I'd start my own series. I'm not going to delete my save because I'm pretty far in, like, I've killed Mom 20 times. Um, I've actually beaten the Cathedral, which is pretty far. I'm going to explain this game as I go through, pretty much, because I don't want to, you know, reset all my stats because I've been playing so long and um, just explain everything again. I Well, I'm going to explain everything, but, you know, understand. Well, there's challenges, which I'm not going to do. I've only completed one, I guess. Um, collection, these are all the items that I've collected. And there's tons. Yeah, so you can delete your save here, but I'm not going to do that. Um, just normal options, and then stats, which I already showed you with all the endings, which I've gotten 12 or 13, I guess. Um, well, I guess an epilogue isn't an ending. Anyways, um, this the front also shows your progress. I almost have the Polaroid. I guess I have to beat the Cathedral twice or Mom's Heart twice. But, um... Yeah. So here are the characters I'm going to be playing as Isaac right at the beginning um, because he's pretty much the most well-rounded character and he also, since I've beaten, I think it was Mom's Heart ten times or just Mom ten times, I forget which, um, you get the D6. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And sorry about this being in uh, standard definition like 480p because it's kind of difficult to record this game. <clears throat> Not, um, you can't record it with fraps because it's a flash game. So I'm pretty much just using a um, this application called Camtasia. It you can just like s uh, adjust to what kind of size you want to be recording at. So this is just going to be in standard definition. It's just difficult to record this game. But I'm going to do my best. Here are the controls. You can look at them. You can place bombs. There's a um, item right there. Those are your tiers. These are just stats like um, how much money, bombs, or keys you've had. That's the map, and that's your life. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, here's some some, en some enemies. This is just like a common dual core flies. Pretty standard. You can also see at the bottom left uh, what area you're, you're at. Basement one is um, pretty common just for starting. I think there's only like two kind of either it's like you either start in the cellar or the basement. That's a key and that's a boss room. Boss rooms I'm just gonna go at the end pretty much. Because I wanna get to the treasure room, which is right there, or the item room, whatever you want to call it. They're just normal zombie guys. Um yeah, I think I'm pretty good at this game. That's a D twenty, it's actually um not a step up, but it's kind of like a different D six. The D six pretty much just makes it so that you can um re roll items, which I'm gonna do here. See if you can get something better. That's the Anarchist Cookbook, which doesn't really do much for me. It pretty much just spawns bombs everywhere. Just uh, one time. Like, you can see there, I just use my item. Now it has a recharge bar. Um, you recharge it by completing rooms with enemies in them, pretty much. Sorry about that. I'm just itching my head. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can charge up my D20, uh, D6 again. And then I'll try re-rolling that once again. Uh, let's go. Yeah, there's more zombies up there. That's the shop, and yeah, you buy stuff there if you have enough money, which I have like no pennies at all, so I can't really buy anything. Plus, it'd just be wasting a key to see it. Um, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to recharge my D20, so I'm gonna be have like a super good start. Um, but we'll see the boss item. Uh, it's really funny. The last um, I tried just doing some test recordings just to see how this would look on YouTube and everything. And it's super funny, I got like one of the best items you can get, um, just like, just from a test, and I couldn't continue the run. I got, um, this, this thing called Dr. Fetus, and it's like an amazing, amazing upgrade. You shoot bombs as your tears. Which I haven't even showed you what a bomb does, but I don't want to waste any. This is just Steven, he's a variant of, um, I forget the, like, I forget the, um, name of the actual vanilla, um, boss. But this is Steven, he came in Wrath of the Lamb DLC. He gives you either two items, like Steven, uh, Little Steven, or just Steven. They're both decent items. So, as you can see, it's just kind of easy to beat this particular boss. Some other bosses are a lot more difficult, like Gertie has lots of health. Well, I guess he's not super difficult. Peeper is pretty difficult. Um, or Peep, I forget what his name is. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna 
beat Steven really quick and continue on to the next level. This game kind of comprises of um, just multiple levels and you have to... I think that's Little Steven? Yeah. Little Steve is just a, a familiar that follows you. Purple tears generally just mean um, homing tears. Well, here I'm going to show you what a bomb does. Because in this game there's uh, secret rooms that kind of just sort of show up in places like that. Um, it's not guaranteed that's going to be there, but I'm going to try at least. Yeah, and there it is. Um, and I picked up a feasible amount of money. Like 10 cents. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to make use of the shop this uh, this time, I'm just gonna go head down to the next level. You can see these are all the levels. That's up to Mom's heart, I think. And then after that's the cathedral. And Isaac has um, nightmares, but I'm g I generally just skip those. Here's the, um, I like how much this is showing us right now. Let's see, that's like occasionally rooms will um, drop bad things, not always just like hearts or keys. And I guess that bomb was the, um, they're called troll bombs, and then it blew up a tinted rock, which was pretty cool if you saw it at the beginning, like, it's a different color than normal rocks. They generally contain better stuff like spirit hearts, and, um, keys, and stuff of that nature. Just consumables, and, um, you know, that's a pill. And they do random things, see, it just gave me a speed down. Other times they give you, like, luck up, or tier, or fire rate up. Um, also a spirit heart. It's not a full heart container. You can't replenish it. It's just kind of like a shield. Oops, uh, I don't know. I'll open this. Gold chests generally have better items than just like normal chests. I'm not gonna go to the shop, so I probably shouldn't be sticking so close to the door, but just getting by. Uh, it's always a good idea to shoot at fire too, because um, they sometimes have uh, pennies and keys, like you saw there. And yeah, I'm just gonna explore. Uh, cellar is a lot more difficult than the basement, so... Um, and I'm not like a super stellar, you know, I'm not really, really, really great at this game. I, I'll get hit quite often with pretty stupid um, reasons, or four stu pretty stupid reasons, because I'm just not that great at this game. But I think I'm a, a little bit better than most. Uh, this is a decent item. I'm not sure if I'm gonna re-roll it. Peeper's Eye is actually pretty solid. I'm gonna go to the boss room really quick and see if I get anything better. Uh, Pin is actually one of the easiest boss. Most of the time he actually kills himself. It's pretty funny. See, like, right here? That bomb isn't always uh, gonna go, like, directly where you are. Sometimes he actually just drops it on himself. As you can see, it's very easy to just dodge him. Uh, yeah, he just jumps. This is this episode. I'm not gonna be commentating much. I'm just gonna be pretty much explaining the game and almost dying there. And I'm just gonna see how far I can go. Like, I'm my goal really isn't just to like do anything in particular. I'm probably I'm pretty much just beating the game. Here's a well. I don't really want that. I'll probably re-roll re that. I'm definitely taking Mom's knife. This is one of the best items in the game. It's uh, just Mom's knife. Mom is the main protagonist in this, not protagonist, antagonist in this series. Not series, but, you know, game. Stem cells is a good um, item, too. It's just a health up, and you get, like, a little brother on your face. Um, but Mom is the primary antagonist, and she tries to kill you, and she has a knife. Um, if you want to see the intro, you can probably just look it up on YouTube. It's not super interesting. The game is more interesting than just, you know... I realized I didn't check out the whole floor, but I didn't, th I didn't see any um, uh, benefit from doing that. So, sorry if you wanted to, or you wanted me to see it, or wanted to see it. Yeah, Mom's knife is one of the best items, just purely because of the damage outputs. This is one of the worst rooms you could possibly get into because greed heads. You get hit by him, you drop your money, and I'm not very good at dodging. That's one skill you need is. And see, sometimes it was like bullshit stuff like that because from what I saw, I was out of the way, but I probably wasn't. And there, there was like a hole in the ground. I'm gonna, I'm trying my best not to die. And um, I'm just gonna see how far I go. Like I've already stated. Good things. So there's some health. I'm gonna at least try to get to mom. Like um, at this point, I think my skill is good enough to always get to mom, pretty much. But, you know, I, it's not guaranteed, if anything. And, yeah, there's some... I'm getting my health back. I think I need more just 
health upgrades because it's not doing so well. Rosary is pretty good. I don't. I'm not sure if that's a. I'm not sure if that's a um, tears up as well. I'm not sure if I want to take it. That's fine. Just oh, it's faith. Well, rosary faith. Yeah. I guess it just adds three spirit hearts, which isn't that bad. I probably should. Oh, I'll leave that eternal heart till the end. I'll just have to remember to come back for it. I'm guessing there's a secret room here. And I was right. Oh, it's just a slot machine. I'll play it, like, one time. And I got a penny back. I'll play it one time. And I got a fly. Well, I'm going to leave that for the end, because I'll want to come back for that. Those essentially just take a spot in your spirit hearts. And if you get it to the next level, it'll give you a free health container, which is very useful. I wish I had a flying item or something, because I could grab those keys, that'd be useful. Um, I haven't found the boss room yet, so it's probably this way. These are neutral flies, they just fly around, like, because they're neutral. They don't attack you until you kill their poop, pretty much. Or kill whatever they're, you know, uh, what's orbiting. This is, uh, this kind of, uh, machine came in Wrath of the Lamb, it's a uh, fortune teller. It drops, like, consumables, like, a uh, spirit heart, like, there. That was actually pretty lucky. Did I get a health, uh, luck up? No, I didn't. I got, like, a speed down or something a while ago. But, um, luck, pretty much, it doesn't really do anything to the kind of, um, items it drops. Pretty much just consumables, like, how often money drops and stuff like that. This is a trinket. Shows up at the top left. I think Isaac's fork, uh, steals health from people. I'm not sure. Um, but trinkets, they just give minor, um tweaks to your character. I just, like, totally took that to the face. And even try moving. I don't even know what's wrong. One good thing about Mom's Knife is that you can actually shoot over rocks. Most of the time you can't do that. Alright, so I'm gonna go back and get that er internal, eternal heart. Having trouble with my enunciation. My enunciation. I'm gonna play this a couple more times. Hopefully I'll get some stuff. And also gives you some nice stuff, like, oh, you'll die alone. And then sometimes you don't even get your fortune told. Ooh, that's great. Um, I think I'm going to go grab that eternal heart. Go down to the next uh, level. Pinky eye. I'm, I think that's better than Isaac's fork, to be honest. There's a random chance of poisoning, I think. Devil card's good, too. I'm not going to keep it, though, because I can't really use it here. And the Joker card's more useful to me right now. I might as well use a... Well, I'm not sure what the effects of the Joker card if you've already beaten the level. Because pretty much what the Joker does brings you to a deal with the devil or a deal with the angel room, which you've already seen uh, when I got Mom's Knife. See, now my, you can tell this is poison damaged because it's green and it does stuff like that. So if I bring that down to the next level, I will um, get a new heart container. The devil card isn't too... that. Well, I mean, it is actually pretty good. But I'm not going to use it right now. I'm just going to go down to the next level, get my health upgrade, and go to deal with Devil or Angel. And Book of Sins or the Mark. Um, I don't feel like... Eh, but whatever. Don't get risky. Gives you a damage up, which is pretty nice. I'll be doing actually pretty good damage with um, Mom's Knife here. Uh, these are just turrets. Um, red ones, you can kill just by them. Yeah, see, Pinky's eye just took them out. Normal turrets, um, don't really let you kill them very easily, because they'll, just, they'll, uh, crouch on. You saw when I walked in that room, they're just skulls, and then they stand up. When they're down, um, they're pretty much invincible, so you have to give them some time to stand up again. Or get up again. Um, yeah, so I think I'm doing pretty good. I just need more health. That's primarily what I need. I'd like some defense as well. Like, there's, um, you can actually get stuff that orbit you, and that's actually very useful because it absorbs bullets whenever you're, you're you know, hit in that area. I mean, obviously you can be hit, and it still will affect you. But if it hits whatever it's orbiting you, it'll protect you. Oh, that's a library up there. I might want to go up there. Library Libraries are pretty useful. Um, they have books, but they're not always great books. See, these are normal turrets. They um, hide until you, you know, just wait. It's kind of difficult when you have familiars because if you continually shoot them, they won't come up. 
and your familiars don't always understand that you shouldn't be shooting. Silkworms were once my like least favorite enemy, but I don't really mind them anymore. So telepills, uh, they occasionally can be good. This, it obviously took me back super far, so I had to backtrack a lot. Um, I think I have enough to... Ooh, sweet, this. I probably should have re-rolled that, to be honest. I mean, well, actually, no, that kind of compensates for the speed down I got a while ago. But yeah, generally with those, um, if I don't really like the item, I'll just re-roll it. And I totally just walked on spikes. That's an entire heart, I think, container just walking on spikes. So I'll try not to do that in the future. Oh, that was kind of dumb. One cool, uh, the uh, mom's knife, actually, if you run into enemies too, it'll kill them. It's kind of just constant damage in front of you. Uh, Luckfoot, um, that's actually a pretty good item. Um, because you'll always get good pills. But I've actually seen quite a few of the pills, so I might as well re-roll it, but I'm, I'm afraid what I'm gonna get. Ah, uh, dead bird, whatever. Dead bird pretty much it procs when you get hit, and then it just attacks enemy enemies, but the AI is actually pretty trash, so it doesn't always, you know... See, there it is, it's not attacking anything particular, so it just stands there, pretty much. That's not good. I just ran into the TNT and it killed me, or killed the TNT. Yeah, I probably should have just kept the uh, luck foot. You can see my knife is doing poison damage, it's pretty sweet. Head into the boss room now. Uh, Red Chub is actually pretty difficult. I think he gives you Little little Chub or something like that. Or Chad, Little Chad or something. I think that's it. Oh. He gets quicker as you um, do damage to him. Or smaller and quicker. But he's dead now. The kind of com uh, combination with my stuff right now is actually doing really well for me. Like Mom's Knife, the mark, and then... What else? I think I got another damage up. I don't think I did. Uh, this game is actually super difficult. Like, I think I didn't mention that. But I've been playing it for a while, so I think I've got a good feel of the game. This is obviously isn't my best. I'm generally far better, but this I haven't recorded this in a while, actually. I actually had a YouTube channel a long time ago and I recorded this, and it didn't get very popular, but I, I really like this game, so I want to record it. I'm going to record what I want. That's dumb. I just got hit. Shouldn't have, though. Another Joker card. I'm just going to go right ahead. Eh. Uh, depending on health upgrades, I might as well just take that. Guppy's Paw is super great, because, um... Depending, depending on how many heart containers, because each time you use it gives you two spirit hearts, so I can be up to like six spirit hearts, but I can never replenish them. Um, I think you just make it more interesting showing off more items. I'm going to leave it there. Um, yeah, I, I still think the D20 is more useful right now. The only reason I think keeping it would be a good idea is if I ever got um, any health upgrades in the future and then just, you know, automatically convert them to spirit hearts. Oh, I keep missing. Some brains. Gooey brains. Oh yeah, the different colored ones. Those are champions and they uh, generally drop stuff like that. Green one dropped a penny. Sometimes they- ooh, that's a dime. Dimes are ten cents, obviously, if you're, you know, if you know money. Uh, no, I don't even have anything for the blood bank. Can I? Yeah, I'll just blow it up. Blood banks, you give them red hearts and they give you health. I mean, the, you give them red hearts and you give them health. Uh, you give them red hearts and they'll give you pennies. So they're good occasionally if you have tons of health and, like, health around. But, um, I almost got hit there. I was lucky. It was kind of a dumb move for me to run. Um, but if you use it enough, yeah, there's a chance that you'll get the blood bag, which is, I think it's one or two health upgrades, and then completely replenishes your health. So you get tons of money, and you get, like, a health upgrade. Rocks, if you just put, um, a bomb there, it'll make a bridge. And then red chests can be either good or bad, so, yeah, it was bad this time, just spawn spiders. Uh, yeah, so let's go to our item room. PhD, um, 
PhD is actually a pretty decent item, but I don't think I'm ever getting like many more pills. Oh, this is great. A damage up and a health upgrade. Makes you slower too, I think. But um, odd mushroom is a great, um, great item. There's two different kind of um, odd mushrooms. There's a small one and a big one. The small one pretty much just like makes your rate of fire insane, but makes you and makes you super fast, but it lowers your damage. And this odd mushroom makes you bigger, slower, and um, more damage. These things are pretty nasty. They say they're stomachs, but I don't really think they are. Um, I don't. Let's see what's in here. It's a normal. Nah, I don't want to go there. Let's place a bomb here. Hopefully, it's our secret room. It's not. It's always just like, look, that's like one of the perfect places for a secret room, but it's not going to be. I've seen lots of this map. I haven't found the boss room yet. Strange. My D6 is recharged, so anytime I see an item, I'll probably re-roll it if I don't like it. That is a, uh, what's it called? Machine gambling thing. Oh god, no. But, uh, one good thing about Mom's Knife is you can kill these zombies from the front, because these things... One of my least favorite enemies, because you have to hit them in the back. Which can be difficult, because they'll turn around, like, immediately, if you're getting close to them. Uh, let's go. Not more any more options for um, the boss room. I'm getting pretty close. Oh, I was gonna hit there. Ah, it's bullshit. Uh, yeah. There's tons of zombies. I got hit by fire. You have to hit them like at the correct angle. It's kind of difficult sometimes. I kind of just like spam that one, or spam the knife when I get close to him. Make it makes it a bit easier. And nope. Oh, there it is, actually. Sweet. These cysts are annoying. Oh, I didn't think that was a bomb fly. I think my idea, or not idea, my. Well, I guess it kind of was an idea. Of using uh, Guppy's paw wasn't very good. Guppy's paw was the one that converted my normal red hearts to spirit hearts. Monstros 2, a Monstro 2 is pretty easy if you get him in this kind of cycle. Oops, I just got him out of that cycle after I said it. What you do is you just stay on his either side and he'll, you know, continually do that, just turning side to side. That was dumb damage. That was even worse damage. Uh, I'll reroll that. Health upgrade, which is great. Well, I'm probably going to be fighting Krampus here. Or not. Well, pff, might as well. Well, I think I have a gain now. I have two and uh, one and a half more spirit hearts than I did entering or e exiting the spirit the spirit heart exiting the what's it called devil room is it last did I didn't arc articulate that very well high priestess um, I'll use that when I'm in a fight that I can't I'm having difficulty with I think it spawns mom's mom's foot just on an enemy wherever you're standing like oh, do it here. That was mom, so when I eventually when I fight her, I think it's on this level, I'll fight her. You'll get to see her in true form. Yeah, this game has had I totally just walked on the spikes. Uh this game has had many um many bosses pretty much. Like it started out with just mom, I think. And then it turned into mom's heart. And then it turned into Shoal, which is Satan. You just go down to hell and kill Satan. And then it went up to, um, what's it called? The Cathedral. Ooh, Stigmata, that's awesome. Health and damage. I'm like a damaged powerhouse and I look crazy. Anyways, yeah, so, um, and then the Cathedral, you fight Isaac. And then in the newest one, you have to get the Polaroid at the mom boss fight and then bring it all the way down to the cathedral to get up to Blue Baby. So you have to and the Blue Baby and uh, Isaac fights are super difficult because it's just bullet hell compare, uh, depending on how your rate of fire, pretty much. Remote detonator, let's reroll that. I'll get that. Speed and range. I have roid rage now. I'm so freaky looking. This way. 
I think I'm too fast for my own good right now, though. That's one thing that... How did I get hit? I, like, didn't hit anything. Um, that's one thing about this game, is you can get too fast. Pretty much with any game that has, like, variable stats, like, speed-wise. But I'm, like, super speedy now. Even with, like, a health... I mean, a speed down at the beginning. Oh. I've only had, like, two speed upgrades as well. And one speed downgrade. So that kind of makes, makes it, like, one speed upgrade. I'm getting hit by everything. these guys. I was close. I was closer. I almost ran into it. Oh god. Yeah. And that's a golden key. Golden keys unlock everything. And the waste keys when you do it. Anytime I see these things, it reminds me of Cartman from South Park. Just really fat little kid. These are my least favorite enemies in the game. Because you can't kill the masks of infamy, and you have to kill the hearts first, and they're... Usually there's, like, tons of them here. And you didn't see them, but I didn't proc any of the masks, but they, like, sprint at you. Like, they're super fast, and it's really annoying. These things are annoying as well, the, um, blue spikes. And that's the tech over there, which you probably want to avoid if you're trying to get to eyes... I mean, blue baby. Because, um, to get to blue baby, you need the pol uh, Polaroid which, um, uh, you have to, yeah, well, I just said, you have to have the po Polaroid to get there. Oh, I've already been here, never mind. And the tick is a trinket that you can't replace, so it makes it kind of difficult to get there, unless you have, like, Mom's purse. So, I know I'm getting to, um, Mom, at least, but I think I'm gonna die after that. Once you get into the womb, all damage is, um, pretty much doubled, so, whereas you'd be getting, like, uh, what's it called? one point of, uh, one half heart, you know, taken off, you'd be getting, um, what's it called? You'd be getting, uh, full heart taken off. Which isn't good for business. Oh, almost ran into there. Lots of human popcorn and clots. I hate these meat things because they shoot vertically, not vertically, horizontally. I took way too much damage there. And... Okay, kind of nine tails. I'm not even sure how that works with mom's knife. It pretty much just makes shot speed quicker, so how quickly the uh, tear goes across the screen, which in this case is just a knife, so I don't see how that'd work. And I don't see it, the knife moving any faster, so. I don't know why. A lot of people complain about kind of nine tails, but I kind of like it. Because, I mean. The quicker you can deliver the tier, the quicker you can do damage to him, so. I'm gonna play this and see if I get any health. I'm gonna play it three more times after this, and if it's not, I'll blow it up. And I think I'm gonna die in the womb here. Just lucky I'm not in the utero. Oh, it gave me a free bomb. It must have heard me. Well, that was perfect. I got a key and a spear heart. Could not see that going any better. Well, I mean, if it gave me, like, every item in the game, that'd be pretty sweet. Unless it was, like, lemon mishap. That'd suck. Eh, not worth it. Oh, I thought these, those Mask of Infamy, infamy room. I saw, like, the, the, the cysts over here. They look like the hearts, and these guys look like the masks. Nope. Nope. Dead bird's actually doing pretty good over there. And nothing. I'm gonna check for the secret room over here. Oh, actually, I already put a bomb there, so I can deduce that it's not there. Well, I'll kill these guys first. I'll kill this guy next. And this is pretty much just like a doppelganger. It follows you, and it shoots when you shoot. So it kind of makes it difficult to kill it. So what you do, usually there's just spikes in the corner. You do that. Or you can place a bomb if you wanted to. But when there's spikes accessible, it's kind of just a waste. I might die in this room, to be honest. Because these baby guardian phoenixes things are difficult to kill. Oh. Last, last one. Last, last one. There we go. Keep your eye to get it for me. Uh, just, uh... I forgot his name, is Jimmy or something, I forgot his, this boss's name is. 
Well, it's a mini boss because I'm not actually in a boss room. And past the um, what's it called? Where whatever I was in last, the um, not cellar necropolis or whatever you know that level. You're not gonna be getting any more item item rooms. That was terrible because I hit a bomb fly. There's no more item rooms, so you have to basically rely on just items you find or boss items. I'm gonna place that there. And play this, and hopefully I get anything, because I don't want to die on this fight. You fight one normal boss, and then you go and fight, um, Mom's Heart. And after that, you go either go down to Shoal or the Cathedral. So, if it's anything difficult, I think I can handle a boss, unless it's, like, Peeper or something like that. What is this? Uh, bombs or keys. It absolutely did nothing because I have the same amount of bombs or keys. Bombs and key, uh, bombs or key pretty much um, just w swaps them. Like here's an example: if I used one, I'd have five keys instead of four, and four bombs instead of five. Just swaps them. All right. I think I played this enough. I'm not getting anything out of it, so I'm just gonna bomb it. We'll never know if I got that from blowing it up or from actual. You know, use. I could probably be him. As I immediately die. I'm not doing any damage. There we go. Yeah, if I get him like two more times, I'm I definitely got it. Or four times. And not die. I'm not sure if this one can kill himself. Yeah, see, oh and I got meat, sweet. I thought that gave you two, whatever. But it gives you tiers and HP upgrade. I, I also think it gives you a damage upgrade. I'm not sure, though. Now to the next floor. I'm definitely dying here. Unless I, yeah, fight a bomb fly. Unless I, you know, oh, there we go. I thought it, oh yeah, they do double damage. But I got lots of good items. That was just a good show of what it's like. I got down to Euro 2, which is actually the more difficult version of the womb. And yeah, I almost got to the mom's heart boss fight that's pretty cool i got pretty far so thanks for watching and i'm gonna be continuing this series bye